Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, this YouTube channel basically discusses everything that has to do with Facebook ads, Instagram ads. Generally, we talk about advertising and we talk about targeting. We also talk about things that you need to know about advertising and how you can maximize and grow your sales with advertising. All right, so if you're just joining this YouTube channel, thank you so much for joining this YouTube channel. I appreciate you. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share. And if you are, um, I mean, if you are a returning member of this community, thank you so much for watching this particular video. Now, in this video, what we want to do is to discuss about WhatsApp marketing. We want to talk about WhatsApp marketing and how you can start running WhatsApp ads, especially if you are in Nigeria. Now, WhatsApp ads is not something new. A lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of people have been asking me how it is done. And finally, I have decided to do the video. So please stick around and watch this video if you want to learn how to run WhatsApp ads and how to include WhatsApp marketing into your marketing and also make sales. Now, one of the major reasons why I love WhatsApp marketing is because it is direct, because it is conversation-based. Now, what do I mean by conversation-based? I mean, Instagram recently um, brought out a new update and they said that, oh, Instagram is slowly or fast becoming a conversation-based platform where, I mean, they are starting to encourage conversations in the DM. Now, WhatsApp marketing is also conversation-based in the sense that when people see the ad, they get to click on the ad and they can message you on WhatsApp directly, and then you can do the conversion for the sales to happen. This really is a lot better than just running ads and getting clicks no, this is conversation. People can send you messages. And that's why I love WhatsApp marketing. So WhatsApp marketing is great. So if you probably you're in your business, you have somebody who does the sales closing or you have a sales closer, you can use WhatsApp marketing and your sales closers can help you to close the deal and get the sales coming in. All right. So WhatsApp marketing is really, really great. I mean, you also get to talk to the person one on one, which increases the rate of conversion compared to when they just, you know, come to your shop, they come online, they just order. Now, I'm not saying e-commerce stores are not great, but I'm saying that you have a chance of building real people that actually fall in love with the brand when you do WhatsApp marketing. And now, another reason why I love WhatsApp marketing is because it is regarded as one of the cheapest marketing types, especially in Nigeria. It is very cheap. Why? Because, I mean, it's just to get a lot of people to message you. So you really spend a little... Um, ad budget when you're doing WhatsApp marketing. All right. So enough with all the talk. Let's get into the work that we want to do. Now, when you want to do WhatsApp ads, one of the things you need to um, consider is that WhatsApp ads is done from the ads manager, right? It is done from the ads manager. Now, you can also do WhatsApp ads from Instagram directly. I'm going to try to also show you how to do that in another video where I'm going to show you how to do WhatsApp ads on Instagram, right? Now, but we're going to be focusing for this video on ads manager. So if you know how to use the ads manager, come closer and let's get into it. But if you don't know how to, please wait for the next um, the next video I'm going to be doing, which is going to be about how to do WhatsApp ads on Instagram directly. Now, so, um, so let's get on it. So when you get to your ads manager, now, of course, you know, this is how your ads manager would definitely look like, right? I'm sure we all know that already. So this is how your ads manager basically looks like. Now, we're going to click create and we're going to start creating our WhatsApp ads. Now, what for the WhatsApp ads, what you need to do is to do an engagement ad, right? Do an engagement ad. Go ahead and just, I'm just going to name this WhatsApp, right? So I'll just copy this and then paste this um, ad, ad set. Okay. So, I mean, this, this is not so important if you don't need to, but I like to always name my campaigns so that I know that, um, I mean, I know what campaign um, is different from which one, okay? So um, here we're not going to do a, an advantage campaign budget, so let's just click next, right? So I'm going to click next and go to the ad set level, okay? All right, so we are... Now in the ad set level, now, when we say WhatsApp ads, what we actually are talking about is here, right? So we're going to click messaging apps. Remember that WhatsApp, like I said, is a messaging 
goal is usually a messaging goal. So I'm going to click messaging apps. Okay. So once we click messaging apps, we'll come down. We'll scroll down here and we click, click to message, right? That's what it should be, right? Choose your Facebook page. Um, choose the right Facebook page. Now I'm going to choose an account that has WhatsApp connected. Okay. I'm going to choose an account that has WhatsApp connected. Okay. I'm going to choose an account that has WhatsApp connected. Okay. Right. So what you want to do is to take out these other platforms and leave only WhatsApp. Okay. So we take out all the other platforms, which is Messenger and Instagram, and then we leave just WhatsApp as what we want there. Okay. Then once that is done, we scroll down and come to budget and schedule. Now, um, I'm going to use let's say 2000 you can do less than this but i'm going to say just 2000 i think averagely 2000 is fine so let's let's say let's stay with 2000 we're going to do this for um 2 weeks okay so i'm going to do this for 2 weeks i'm going to set this for 2 weeks which is 29th okay i'll just put the time there and just do that right away then scroll down now usually sometimes when you do whatsapp ads um, you do not have the chance to target based on interest. Remember that when I talked about targeting, I talked about the different types of targeting. Sometimes when you do WhatsApp ads, you might not get the option to use interest. That feature is gradually being rolled in, right? Not everybody already has it, but some people now have it that they cannot choose interest when they are doing WhatsApp ads. It happens, right? So I'm going to choose my location here, um, Lagos. I'm going to just choose Lagos. Right? And then scroll down. I'm going to scroll down to age and gender. Specify the age, say 24 to, um, let's say, I mean, you know all these parts already, right? You know all these parts already. If you've been following this channel, you know all these parts already. So age and gender. And then I'm going to choose my gender to be female. Now, you can see that my own still has the interest, so I can put interest. Now, you might still see this if you are using the ads manager. Let me know in the comment section if you still find the detailed targeting option when you use just WhatsApp alone. Let me see if you find that, okay? So I'll just do business to business. I'll just put my, my targeting the way, I, the way I usually have it, right? I'll just put that business to business, product business, okay? So I just put that product business. Okay. So let's say I put in the targeting, all the targeting I want to put. Now I'm going to come to my placement. I'm going to use manual placement. I like to use manual placement a whole lot because it allows me to, to select the places where I want my advert to display. So I think I like that compared to letting um, Facebook choose for me. So I've chosen manual placement. Now I like my ad to only show on Instagram. Now, this largely depends on you, okay? So I'll just turn off um, Audience Network and Facebook because I like my ads to show only on Instagram. So once this is done, I could just come here and click Next, right? So I'll click Next. Now, the next thing I want to do is to select the post for my WhatsApp ads. Now, I want to advise you that when you're selecting the post for your WhatsApp ads, please and please make sure that you are using posts that are a lot entertaining right use posts that are a lot entertaining use posts that are that are i mean educating posts that would really make people click and want to buy the product now you might not necessarily have to sell the product directly because sometimes it does not work you will just get people coming to ask you how much um i'm interested in this the price is too much but when you sell benefits you sell you educate people about the product they really want to buy the product because they know about the product so I'm going to choose a post. Now I'm going to do use existing post. So I'm going to use a post that is already on my page, right? I'll just do select post. Then I'm going to go to my Instagram to select my post, right? So let's say this post is what I want to use. Okay. So let's say that's the post I want to use. So I'm going to wait for the post. Usually sometimes the post will have to upload and all those things. It just takes a while. For it to upload once it's done 
Then our advert is ready to be published, right? I think it's done already. I think it's done already. So our advert is ready to be published, right? So we can see a review of our advert here. So this is a review of our advert. Now, here, here you see, send WhatsApp message. That's going to be the, the button. Leave it as that. Send WhatsApp message. So when somebody sees this advert, all they are doing is to click to send you a WhatsApp message. It is straightforward, and I love it a whole lot. It delivers results. So um, send WhatsApp message is what we've done. Okay, so once we are done with this, you can see everything. Then just click publish. The moment you click publish, your adverts will go out and you can publish your adverts and it will go under review and it will be accepted, approved and your adverts will start running. What, what will happen next is that you will start receiving people sending you WhatsApp message, responding to them. I would advise that you are ready to respond to people immediately. If you're not ready, you can hire somebody that does that, that their work is sales closing. You can hire somebody that strictly focuses on sales closing. They can handle your WhatsApp. I mean, WhatsApp now has the feature where more than one person can be using your WhatsApp account and you can see what the person is doing. So easily you can hire somebody to handle that part and the person can help you close the sales and even make more sales um, with their own expertise. Okay. I hope you've learned something um, new with this YouTube video. Remember to subscribe, like, if you're just watching us for the very first time, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, comment, share this video with somebody. Thank you so much. If you got value or you have questions, you can leave them in the comment section or you can send me a DM on Instagram at Beasley. Thank you so much, everyone. And I'll see you in another video.